Yo, what's up everybody? Gonna be doing another Funko Pop pickup video today. Yesterday I was able to get to GameStop and uh, pick up the two exclusives. If you don't know what they are, this will be a surprise for you. But uh, first and foremost, I want to show you the two non-animated related pops I picked up there. They were doing a uh, buy two, get the 50%, get the third 50% off. So I kind of went a little crazy. I picked up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pops, guys. Uh, I spent like 100 bucks or some shit like that. But um, the first one is Nightmare Batman. This is uh, from Batman vs. Superman, which comes out next month. Um, I like the detail on it. I'm not going to open these up because it's a hassle to open these up on video. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but he has like mud on his like mask and stuff. He's wearing a trench coat. And uh, he has like goggles up on his head and everything, so pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what this is all about in the movie. I don't know if this is a Batman that we see in the movie, but uh, pretty cool to have. It's a little different. It's a variation of Batman, so I'm happy to have that. And then the other one I picked up is uh, from a movie that released last Friday, the Friday before Valentine's Day. Uh, really enjoyed the movie. Didn't do a video about it or anything like that, but that's uh, the regular Deadpool. Um, I don't know if this is actually the Deadpool movie version, but this is just a Deadpool. I already have the blue one right there, as you can see. Uh, I plan on getting the X-Force and some other ones as well. Alright, so that's the two non-animated related pops. So, let me show you the non-exclusive animated uh, anime pops that I picked up. The first one I want to show you, and I didn't know the box was... I don't... That card... The plastic looks kind of weird on here, but whatever. It's a uh, Maka from Soul Eater. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like some kind of glue or something there. Uh, so I picked up Maka, and there's only two in this set, Maka and Soul. So I got Maka. Soul. Which I really need to start reading the manga for uh, Soul Eater. I own the first like ten volumes, I just never read it. I heard the anime deviates from the manga at some point some point excuse me so there's soul so i own this entire collection now soul and maka uh, i think i like soul's design a little bit better he has more flair i guess you can say all right what else is there what do i want to show you i am missing one pop from my dbz uh collection now i need perfect cell but i have frieza now final form i would like to get the exclusives like metallic vegeta uh planet arlia vegeta Golden Frieza, Super Saiyan God, Goku, but they're kind of expensive, especially the Planet Earlier Vegeta is like $500 on eBay. So out of the regular set, I'm just missing Perfect Cell and actually the Hot Topic exclusive Goku I'm missing, which I think you can get that for like 40 bucks. I might pick it up. Uh, there is a little bit of a paint error here. I don't know if you can see it on his shoulder, which I didn't notice when I picked him up, but uh, mm. It is what it is, man. It's not like he's an expensive pop, but I do like my stuff to be in good condition. The next one is uh, something that you guys are probably going to say, well, I thought you don't like this series. Well, I did like this series um, when it first started. I dropped off of it during the fourth, nar uh, fourth, fourth Ninja War. So you obviously know what I'm talking about. First, I'm going to show you guys the main character, Naruto. I picked him up, and there's only two in this set, or three rather, Naruto, Sasuke, and uh, Kurama, which I don't have, but I have something else. <laughs> so there's Naruto with his headband. I like the detail on this. It looks nice. I don't really see any paint errors on him, so that's that's nice. And I got Sasuke, which is one of my favorite characters from the series. I love the detail. I love his, um, like, the zipper right here on his uh on his um cloak or, or attire or whatever you want to call it it's nice it's silver it looks nice uh really digging the detail i wish they would have gave him his sword that would have been pretty cool but uh not a big deal there is a little bit of damage on the box here which i didn't notice when i, I bought it but it is what it is and finally guys for the two exclusive only you can get these only at gamestop and uh, fuck this was behind the counter i really didn't have a choice of boxes here but it is what it is. The first one is Hollow Ichigo, bro. Look at this. This I love the contrast between his eyes and the white and black. It looks so fucking nice. And in this set, you have regular Ichigo and Rukia, which I plan on picking those up. But I'm glad to have the Hollow Ichigo uh, version of Ichigo. There is some box damage here and there. 
Uh, you can barely see it. This box is in relatively decent shape, so I'm happy about that. I take my pops out of the box anyways, guys, but I try to keep the boxes in good shape just in case I ever decide to unload my, uh, my collection onto somebody. And finally, the one I really wanted to get. <laughs> it's a variation of Kurama, and that is, and it's a little redundant, Kurama Mode Kurama. Uh, this is a glow-in-the-dark 6-inch. This is a giant pop from Naruto Shippuden. It's obviously a variation of him, the regular Nine Tails, but this is him in Kurama, Kurama Mode, and I think the whole thing glows in the dark, which is absolutely amazing. Um... Can't wait to get this out of the box. This box is a little bit damaged on the top there. Can't really see it. There's like an indent, but it is what it is. I really didn't have a choice of boxes. Um, my GameStop only had three of each of the Haloichigo in this, and I was lucky enough to get this from uh, the second store that I go to in my area. The first store already had people waiting for it. So, um, yeah, I got it. So, yeah. I got two exclusives from GameStop, guys. I'm really happy about that because I, for the life of me, cannot find the Walgreens exclusive. So I'm happy to have these two from GameStop. I mean, it's kind of easy to find the uh, the Hot Topic ones, but um, I'm happy I got some GameStop ones. So what are your thoughts, guys? What do you think is the best one I picked up uh, from GameStop? Let me know your thoughts down below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'd greatly appreciate it. But that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.